college project, and what he's doing is touting a single source contractor. And Pat Barnes said he's dead set against that. What the, the idea was that we deal only with, with a contractor, a general contractor, and let him handle all the details, and we don't need a construction manager. And by the way, the county hired a construction manager because I offered up uh, Randy here <laughs> when we hired him. We thought we were going to share it, but they have one. Uh, there are no bids uh, under that particular arrangement. He said it was legal under under uh, Senate Bill 914. And I think we need to look at that to make sure that that, that is legal because that's sort of what uh, uh, Robbie Ferris was talking about in a way, you know, with the leasing idea and sole service, uh, sole contracting. Uh, Barnhill General Contractors, by the way, just bid a high school, just bid at high school for $25 million. I don't have any more details than that, but I certainly am not going to find out what they are. There was a Green Building Task Force group set up, and that group is going to impact on what we do, because this was adopted by the commissioners that all new or remodeled county-owned and publicly financed buildings of 20,000 or more square feet comply with the appropriate and goes into the, the national uh, green building certification, which, which costs us some money, you know, but... It costs money, but it saves us in the long run. It's better for our students' health. Oh, yeah. yeah I, don't, I don't disagree. I think it's a great idea. I uh, mentioned uh, earlier about the Jack Bennett site. We need a letter from Aqua America that they will not return the affluent to the school site. Without that, we're going to have to explore, it seems to me, to explore alternate means of handling that waste up there. Uh, and I pass on the kudos to facilities for the window and the power savings. We each got a, an email that, that showed what the uh, cost uh, value of putting those windows in would be over a period of time. It's pretty substantial, $300 a classroom uh, over time and, and more money than that. Uh, and to finance for some financials that can finally be understood, uh, and to home uh, or human resources for their SOP notebook, although it just got into their hands two days before I was led to believe they had it all. It's a, it's, a, it's a good piece of work, and I suggest that each of you go to it. I've got a question about the gator for Jordan Matthews, which I think all of us heard about. Did, it, did everybody get an email? Yeah. Okay. And then, the, and then there's some information coming out about a wrestling practice room in Northwood. Apparently there's, there's someone, uh, I got a, an email from a man that said he was going to start a fundraising project uh, for Northwood wrestling, wrestling Room. His name is Raymond. Anybody remember that one? Uh, it's well, April the 16th, but, but now it has come to the front. They're, they're apparently raising money up there. And with our new policy that we're going to talk about tonight, I, I think, I'm not sure we ought to encourage that right now. It'd be an add on to the bill. Ms. Russell? Um, no, I guess I haven't updated on the um, Jordan advisory groups. I visited several PTA meetings and I have a long sign up list. Um, so that's done for the year. Over the summer, I'm going to work or take care of a little bit. She's going to help me get the word out from the newspaper articles and different venues to get community members involved also. And then when school starts up, I'll try to hit the first PTA meetings of the schools I didn't hit yet. Um, but I've had great reception at the meetings I've been to so far. And people have said a lot of great ideas. So, um, that's something that I'm looking forward to continuing to work on over the summer. And I did have something else I wanted to talk about and idea, but given this crowd of meeting, I think I'll just say it. Two, I'm going to be brief. Um, on June 5th, I attended the Chatham County Planning Board meeting, and um, Commissioner Lucier stood up and said that they have put a moratorium on subdivision of more than 25 homes for one year. So that's, that's positive. It's only for one year, and it's got to be subdivisions with more than 25 homes, but that was encouraging. 
Um, and you saw the email. There's very positive um, feedback from the commissioners and the planning board regarding our involvement. And they they haven't formalized it yet, but they have an upcoming meeting that they're going to invite us all to participate. Apparently they sent an email, but I didn't get it, so they're going to keep it. I don't know if you guys got it. We're all going to be invited to attend a meeting where they want our input as to how we want to be involved. And um, I've had several discussions, and they are very positive about involving us in a formal way that requires us to have input for any new approval. In fact, at one time, a number of 50 or more was being... Uh, and I thought that was okay, but people have actually stepped forward, planning board members, to say they think we should be involved even at smaller levels, which is great. And that they would be, you know, it's not just that we have input, but they're going to be required to consider our input and our suggestions. So I think that is great. The date of that meeting, if you want to get your calendar, is July 25th. I don't know if you can make it. Uh, also, speaking of the planning board, we have, they have a meeting scheduled for July 10th. I thought I was going to be able to make that meeting, but I'm going to be out of town. That date's available. Mm -hmm. what, well, when I was originally plan, planning on doing it, and I thought um, something was going to interfere, but actually that's been canceled. So I can take the July meeting again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I follow. very much enjoy graduation. I attended you at the Central Side, and Dr. Jayden's graduation, and uh, the speaker was the soccer coach from J.M. who has the book, I'm on a field, the talk about this, and it was very nice, very warm, but <laughs> very nice. Uh, and I didn't even hear complaints from parents, you know, that he, it was hot, but as many family members as wanted to could come because it was in the, on a football field, so it was very nice. Okay. In the haste of, of approving those minutes, we have a request here from an individual who asked that his, uh, uh, an addendum to the May 29th minutes be removed, part of it be removed. The person here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for bringing that up. Um, public, that's, that's one of the things we have to uh, document. And, okay, well, I shouldn't have. Ever